It's Patrick Hatzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care, so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision-making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered, and in last week's episode, I answered another question from one of my clients, Emma. And the question last week was part four in a series of questions. And the question was, my sister is in intensive care on a balloon pump and ventilated after cardiac surgery. The ICU doctors want to stop treatment against our wishes and let her die. What should we do? You can check out last week's episode by clicking on the link below this video. In this week's episode of Your Questions Answered, I want to answer the next question from my client Emma, which are again excerpts from one and one phone and email counseling and consulting sessions with me. And the question this week is part five of My Sister is in intensive care on a balloon pump and ventilated after cardiac surgery. The ICU doctors want to stop treatment against our wishes and let her die. What should we do? You can also access part one, part two part three and part four by clicking on the links below this video. In today's one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy session with Emma, with Emma, we keep talking about how to get her sister through the weekend. Emma's sister remains very critical and in a life-threatening condition, but at least the intensive care team has stopped talking about withdrawing treatment and basically letting her sister die. It shows that our strategies are working, and today we dive deeper in what needs to happen to get Emma's sister out of intensive care alive. So go and have a look below this video and read the dialogue of this counseling and consulting session with Emma and me. And if you are watching this on YouTube, just click on the link below this video. That'll get you to our website where you can read the one and one consulting and advocacy session. Also look out for part six of this consulting and advocacy session with Emma in the next few days. So how can you become the best advocate for your critically ill loved one? How can you make informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? You get to that all important feeling of making informed decisions, get peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn quickly how to make informed decisions, get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions. Discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You will get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions, 
get peace of mind, control, power, and influence in your situation. You will get real world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I will see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also check out our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Or you can call me, find international phone numbers on our contacts tab. Also, check out our ebook section where you get more ebooks, videos, and audio recordings, and where you can also get one on one consulting and advocacy with me via Skype over the phone or via email by clicking on the consulting and advocacy tabs on the top of the website. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I will see you again next week in another update.